Langford grew up riding horses, but one day it almost killed him. I had a horse wreck. A horse flipped over on top of me and uh, he crushed me. The L4 and L5 discs in his spine were shattered beyond repair, and Jarrett joined the millions of Americans with chronic back pain. The lower back, um, my legs were always numb and feet were tingling all the time, my toes tingled. The standard surgical procedure is a spinal fusion, where the damaged discs are removed and the adjacent segments are fused together. It has a downside for young patients. So when you remove one motion segment from the spine, sometimes you, what you can do is you eventually put more pressure on an adjacent disc, and so that disc that's adjacent to it can start to break down as well. The fused spine is also less mobile, so neurosurgeon Dr. Dean Lynn suggested a new procedure, giving Jarrett a lumbar spine implant, replacing his damaged discs with artificial ones. The use of artificial implants follows a trend set in orthopedics. Years ago, hips and knees were commonly fused, until new technologies allowed surgeons to replace the damaged joints. And theoretically, what you do is you would then not have this adjacent segment problem down the road. Lumbar disc implants are already generating interest. We've had a lot of patients ask about it. The part of the problem is right now in 2011 is only FDA approved for a single level and it's only FDA approved for 55 years or younger. The surgery worked wonders for Jarrett who is now back in the saddle. I hadn't rode a horse in over five years and I can ride again. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.